Jeep failed us, guys. I freaking failed us. Stupid Jeep. I kick it right now. There. Stupid Jeep. Okay, so if you saw my last video, I was like super nostalgic. Not that long ago, actually. This is gonna be fun. This is not where to make this so complicated. Back up. Yeah, the rubber mount is being a pickle. Can't see. It's dark outside. This is a bit. Maybe this is a bit. Okay, it's okay. It's just one thing at a time, guys. So if you saw my last video, I was like super nostalgic. I was ready to ride off into the sunset where we're gonna live in the Jeep again, you know, start our adventures. And uh, immediately after that. My aunt had to rush my cousin to the ER. He's not even a year old yet, I think. And uh, something happened, long story short, they were gonna have to stay in a different town for a little while that was like two hours away. She needed me to stay at her house and watch her dogs. Around this time, something else came up that I'll tell you guys later if it's ever important. But right now, something else came up. Immediately after that happened, the Jeep just crapped out on me. It was just like, oh, you don't have enough on your plate right now? Don't worry, I'll help you out, bro. And just blew up and just, yep. Alternator is messed up. It's probably a short. Um, I replaced the alternator because it was under warranty. Didn't fix the problem. I ended up uh, replacing the fuse for the alternator and it fixed the problem. So I assumed something happened that caused the fuse to blow. Now I'm touching the ground. Okay. Immediately after that, fuse blew. Fuse blew. And it's just been one thing after another. Stuff popping, breaking, blah, 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 blah. Um, after all this went down, today, um, Haley dropped me off to get the BMW. I drove that around, got the battery charged. They tested the battery, and the battery's still good, but it was completely dead at that point. After we got all that situated, we're going to test it now. I'm going to make sure all the fuses are good before I turn it on. And then I'm going to turn it on, make sure the fuse doesn't blow, and if it doesn't, just going to have to keep an eye on it. If it does, we're going to have to start ripping wires apart and figure out what's going on. Okay, 50 fuse relay. That's a new one. I found out that this one blew. I found out that this one blew, probably because this one was bad. This is supposed to be 50 amps, but this is just the fuse that makes sure that everything charges the battery and the bar battery's charged, so it should be okay if we leave that. 40 instead of 50. We'll have to replace that though, assuming this works. Otherwise, I'm about to blow 12 bucks on both these fuses because it stinked them anyway. Cross, cross our fingers. We've got ampage. Don't blow. Don't blow. All right, so far, so far it's just working. It's all working. It might have just blown a fuse because the other fuse was blown and they both needed to work. However, do not trust her at all, and this is here in case I need it, because I don't trust her. You hear that? I don't trust you. I woke up in the morning. That's a good thing. Okay, so Jeep lived last night. So actually, good news, I drove the Jeep around. I have one of my, I was talking to one of my subscribers who I've kept in contact with. He supported the channel one time, and uh, he actually is the same guy who told me he would build my metal tube fenders. So I was talking to him the other day. Um, he knows more about electrical than I do. He said he'll make a video helping me out to see if there's anything like, um, or see if there's anything like majorly wrong with like the wiring and causing the fuses to blow. Um, otherwise, we're just gonna assume that everything's good right now because I drove it around yesterday and so far I haven't had any problems. It's safe to assume that there's just something wrong with the alternator and then training the battery and then not checking out the fuses when I was done just caused there to be problems back and forth. And so now that I got all that fixed though, everything's looking promising, everything's hooked up. I did not sleep good last night. I could not fall asleep. It had nothing to do with getting comfortable or anything. I just could not do it so i got like five hours of sleep last night but it's about eight o'clock in the morning now 8 30 time for breakfast
Okay, so I don't know if the <laughs> it was recording, but um, was it recording? Okay, so assuming it wasn't recording, I was just telling you guys that I just got out of this tea shop um, that I was in. Found this new tea shop. The coffee shop is closed today. Um, both coffee shops are closed today, everything except for Starbucks, and there's no dining in Starbucks. I got here a little late, so I wasn't able to finish editing. My computer died, and they're about to close anyway, so it wasn't really worth getting my charger out. I'm gonna have that video uploaded tomorrow. Been really behind. Um, I'm gonna upload this video tomorrow, start working on this video as well, try to get you know back on a roll. I was just ready to just set off into the sunset, and then out of nowhere, I had something come up that's been kind of bothering me. It's making it a lot harder to get things done. On top of the fact that the Jeep just completely just gave up on me. I was gonna splurge my money on buying my own merch, buying stickers and doing some other, ordering a bunch of stuff, but I'm a little bit hesitant on that now. I'm going to order it eventually, but I haven't made any money off of DoorDash this week because I've been kind of stranded just living off of, I've been basically couch surfing at my friend's house even though I haven't been recording it. That's basically what's been happening, or though I've been sleeping in the Jeep, but I've just been hanging out at her house the whole time, or more specifically her, Mimi, her grandma's house. So trying to get this all figured out so I can set off from there. So sorry that I kind of just like ditched you guys. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get things sorted out. Until I get this figured out though, I feel like my energy is going to be on a little bit of a low. If it becomes relevant, I will tell you guys what's up. Um, I told my Patreon supporters because I tell them everything, or at least I've tried to. They already know that the reason I'm behind on videos is because of my Jeep crapping out and all that jazz, so I'll get everything figured out though. For now, I'm kind of getting cold outside. The clouds are really pretty though.